Hi guys, so today I'm going to be going over Nexus font. Now usually I don't do these kind of software review overview things, but if you want me to do them and show you software which helps kind of design and editing and that kind of thing, then feel free to comment and you know if, if this video gets a positive feedback then I probably will do more of these kind of review videos. And basically, for any of you guys that know, having too many fonts on your system really slows it down. Now this piece of software called Nexus Font helps you kind of organize all your fonts and allows you to use them only when you want to rather than having them all installed all the time. So currently I've got 1000 fonts installed. Now I've actually got on my system over 65,000 so obviously I can't install all of those because my computer would run about the worst speed ever. So just as an example fonts beginning with C, the letter I have 6,200 fonts, just beginning with the letter C. So that's just an example. That's just an idea, you know, of how many fonts I've actually got on my system. So obviously, I can't have all these installed at the same time because, as I said, it would slow down your computer. It would slow down your Photoshop. So here's my font collection folder. Now this is the font collection folder that I've got imported into Nexus Font. There they all are. I'm still yet to import a few from K down to Z, but at the moment, I'm just using the ones I need. So I created this typography font list. Now, this is just a list of fonts I found on the internet that I thought, oh, these look pretty good. I'll probably use these in the future for typography work. Now, I don't want to actually install all these fonts because already I have too many. I mean, a thousand is too many. I mean, you're looking at about 600, 700 if you want a kind of good amount of fonts that doesn't slow down your computer. So when I want to use these fonts, all I have to do is click on typography fonts here. Now, scan all your fonts and then they'll be in your Photoshop without even installing them. There they all are, all in the font. Now hopefully if I click on installed again and it scans my installed fonts then those fonts will actually be removed from Photoshop. There you are, they're not in there anymore. So as you can see this software enables you just to quickly import and take out fonts from your computer. Now see all these letters down here down to K have around a thousand plus fonts in so obviously if I clicked on those and scan those it would slow down my Photoshop they're just there to use when I haven't got Photoshop open so I can go into that folder look at the fonts I've got and then put them into separated folders so if I want separated folders like video game fonts so fonts used by video game companies say like the Halo font, the Assassin's Creed font, the Call of Duty font things like that I can put that into a category when I come to doing a video about game design or a, a game design speed up I can just click on that folder and import them in and use them when I want to rather than having them all installed now what you can do on this software is if you do want to install the font you can click on it like there and then you can click on install and you can uninstall it similarly in just as much ease. Now you can also open character map for the font, which I think is fairly useful because I mean the character map map on the system takes quite a while to navigate. The the preview is really small, takes you quite a long time to go through it. So this extra edition here is a lot better. You get a much bigger preview of what it looks like. And this generally is just a really nice, easy piece of software to use. Now it's available on PC and Mac and I've linked it in the description below, so if you want to download it, you can. I would heavily advise getting this software, because I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I have so many fonts, and I can't organise them e just as easy as I can with this software. All you have to do is right-click, add folder, and then any folder you've got with your fonts in, so I'll go to my font collection, you can just click on them, it adds the folder, there's not any fonts in there at the moment, but it just adds the folder, then you can put fonts in there, and it will just put them straight into your Photoshop or whatever you're using. So it's really easy to use, simple software. It doesn't take up much of your computer's memory, it's only a tiny file. So, yep, the link's in the description. If you want to install it, then install it. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, it's a bit different than what I normally do, but, uh, you know, if you like it, I will continue to make them. Oh, actually, one more thing. I forgot to mention this. The other thing I like about the software as well is when you're on your fonts folder on control panel you just get this really small preview of ABG now you can't actually see then what the font really looks like I mean you can look on Photoshop if you want to look at a if you want to look at a preview but that's if you haven't already installed it I mean if you have already installed it so you know if you want to look at a font that's on your system and you want to preview it Nexus font enables you to do this with this nice kind of uh, 
customizable font preview here. I mean, you can type in anything and it will come up as a preview. So if you're designing and you're thinking, oh, I need to see what looks good, what, I don't know, Pepsi looks good. Oh, I'll say that because I've got a Pepsi bottle next to me, but <laughs> what Pepsi looks like in all these different fonts, and then you can easily do it, and it's simple. You don't have to already have it in Photoshop, you don't have to install it, you don't have to slow down your computer. It's there, it's accessible, and it's easy to use. So, yeah, again, as I was saying, thanks for this video. It's a bit different than usual, but you know, if you like these kind of software reviews, comment, make it clear, show me that you like them, give the video a like so I can see that you're appreciating these videos, and they'll continue to download software and review it. Software that helps with design, and software that helps with other programs. Now, Nexus Font uses this system and it enables you to use these fonts in every program you're using, not just Photoshop. So, if you're using Illustrator, it puts it in there as well. It puts it in every single program. And just as easily, you can get rid of them by clicking on Installed. And now they will be out of the Photoshop system. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like, favourite, etc. Just to show me that, you know, they like these kind of videos. I found it, I think, personally, it's kind of helpful video. You know, I know a lot of you guys design your own stuff now. When you first started watching me, you know, you were you were watching me to learn how to design. And now a lot of you are extremely good and talented designers. And software like this really can help you guys with your designs. So, yeah, give a like, comment. Follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, I post a lot of stuff on there, work I do that I don't post on YouTube. A lot of updates with design work, say programs like this. And a lot of I do a lot of, like free giveaway stuff as well on Twitter so go and follow me on there if you don't use Twitter much and you know you prefer to use Facebook then I've got a Facebook page as well so go and like that that's in the description try and get that to around 500 likes soon it's on 490 something so anyway thanks for watching subscribe etc links in the, of the downloads in the description and I will see you guys in another video thanks for watching